Hey everybody, my name is Bill, and lately I've been working on a 1972 uh, Plymouth Satellite. So it's a pretty cool B-body. Uh, we call it the Rattleite because it's a little bit beat up and uh, it's a fun car though. Unfortunately, uh, last time I took it out, I hit the brakes and one of the brake hoses blew. So we got to put brakes in the front of the thing. And I thought that'd be pretty easy. I uh, went out and um, took off the uh, brake rotor off the front driver's side here and ordered up a set of uh, new rotors, um, got new inner and outer wheel bearings, and the seal that you need to put these in. And as soon as I did that, I was all excited. Um, I checked the um, outer wheel bearing, and you can see that when I flip, when I, oops, when I grab the, uh, the bearing, it fits in there really nice, and it appears to be the same size as the bearing that came out of the car. These two are identical. <clears throat> it turns out that the part number from Master Pro at O'Reilly's is A2, and that's consistent on a lot of different years of products. Unfortunately, uh, when I grabbed the inner wheel bearing, it actually fit great in the hubs that I bought. And I bought these hubs, the 7008R from Summit Racing, and these are correct for a 72B body, uh, like I've got. And the bearing seems to drop in there and it looks like it would actually do a pretty good job. So I was pretty excited. But when I went to test fit the bearing on the spindle in the car, it turns out I couldn't get very far in. The spindle was much bigger than the hole through the center of the, uh, of the bearing here. And I thought, well, what on earth is going on? So through a series of goofy steps, uh, the next thing I did was I went and I got the um, the axle seal. And I thought, well, maybe that, you know, is part of the deal. So you drop the bearing in. But when you put the axle seal on top, it's the right dimension to go in there. And it appears like it would do the right job. But then there's still no way that this is going to slide onto the, onto the spindle. <clears throat> so after a lot of futzing around and messing around, it turns out that these parts, the A2, A6, and the 8121S, are all accurate and correct for a 72 Mopar. And these brakes would all work on that. But it turns out also that there's a larger spindle that was available in late model B bodies. And it's not uncommon that when people over the years have gone to the wrecking yard or had to switch these things out, <clears throat> that they've put a different spindle on these old cars. I mean, they're 50 years old. And that's what happened, I think, to mine. So I ended up with a late model big bearing spindle on it. And none of this works with the exception of the outer wheel bearings, which are the same between 72 and 73 up. So here's what I ended up having to do. I had to, now that I've got a full brake kit here for a 72B body, I could build. None of it actually works on the spindles. I had to order up a new set of rotors these are part number 7032R RGS, and <clears throat> these are the later model versions of this. The outside wheel bearing still fits in the hole like it's supposed to. We'll still be able to put the bolt on it and secure that in place. So that all seems to be great. When you flip it over, however, let's take a look at the differences here. They are machined slightly different. And if you take a close look here, you'll see that this outer edge here where the seal is, is much larger than the tall edge that you get um, out of this rotor. The other thing is this has been milled and machined down um, quite a bit, you know, at least three eighths of an inch, where if you look on the inside of this, there's a lot more meat to it. Um, that milling hasn't uh, taken place yet. So while this bearing from the 72 will still drop in here and still fit, it actually isn't the right bearing. You need to step up and get an L68149. And the difference here, hopefully you can tell or see the difference, is quite a bit. And I can't remember exactly what the, the size difference is, but you should be able to see the size difference. Now the larger hole bearing will drop in there. And the seal is different as well. Where the 72 has got a rigid metal edge around the seal, the 73 and up has just got a rubber edge where the seal goes. So that'll face down. 
that is the right size to go into this uh, rotor here and into the hub where it wouldn't even fit in on this side. So as a heads up, there is a difference between these rotors. Um, even though the spindles will work on older cars versus the newer cars, um, it turns out that if you find that you get your wheel off, you'll want to check the spindle diameter and make sure that you know whether or not you've got the late model large bearing spindles or the earlier model slightly smaller bearing spindles. Uh, just because your car is a 72 doesn't necessarily mean somebody hasn't swapped it in the, in the past. So uh, we'll take a quick measurement of um, what the spindle size is on the car itself so you can actually see. Um, and other than that, I hope this has been useful uh, to know the difference between these, um, these <clears throat> different years and dimensions of what we have here. Okay, I wanted to uh, show you what the difference is gonna be between these bearings on the spindle itself, and we'll measure the spindle here real quick. This is the outside wheel bearing. And like I said, it's an A2 according to Master Pro, and it works for a wide range of these years. And as you can see, when I put this on the spindle, it slides right into place and it'll work out great. So happy with how that one's gonna work. Now, <clears throat> this is the spindle for the set or the uh, inner wheel bearing for the 72. Okay, it would actually go on in this direction. And when I pulled it out of the box and I went to put it on, you can see it only goes about halfway up the, uh, the spindle there. And I thought, well, that isn't right. It's got to go up further than that in order for it to uh, install properly. So that's when I realized I may have a different spindle on here. And I got the 73 kit, and the 73 kit has that larger hole in it, which pushes it all the way up here to the edge um, where it belongs. So we've got the, the right spindle now, or the right wheel bearings for this. And the size of this spindle at the very top, if I measure it all the way up at the neck here, hopefully you can get a picture of where I'm, where I'm at on that, is 1.4 zero six or one point sorry one point three seven five inches yeah one point one and three eighths is that it one point three seven five inches um at the neck of this so that's the larger bearing spindle apparently and something that i was not aware of before i started trying to buy all this stuff so again i hope this helps and hope um somebody can get some value out of this info. All right, so wrapping this up, um, these are Mopar RV body uh, brake rotors and spindle information and everything. And I just wanted to wrap this video up by saying a uh, quick shout out to Tyler down at the Issaquah O'Reilly's. Um, he's been super helpful, picks up the phone every time I call. I've had to go through and literally buy these things one at a time while I've tried to figure out what's wrong with my car and why doesn't all this stuff fit. Um, but he's been great, he's got everything uh, pulled together and, and uh, brought into stock for me as soon as um, I needed it and I really appreciate his help. So thanks Tyler and thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.